Today's tutorial is for this lacy winter scarf. Even though it is lacy, this scarf is quite warm because it is made with yarn that is 20% wool. Specifically, I used Alize Angora Gold. This yarn is 20% wool and 80% acrylic. There is 100 grams in one skein or 601 yards. And to make the scarf, I used one and a half skeins. My scarf came out about 70 inches long and 10 inches wide. This yarn is made in Turkey and I haven't seen this yarn for sale in American craft stores such as Michaels or Giants or Hobby Lobby. So I purchased it on Amazon and I will leave a link in the description box below. The hook size that I used is E 3.5 millimeters. The written pattern for this scarf will be available in my Etsy and Ravelry shops. And purchasing a pattern from me is the best way to support my crochet work and my crochet channel. Thank you so much. I start with 55 chains. One, two, three, and I crochet the chains quite loosely. Here I have 55 chains and the first row is very simple. It's a row of double crochets. First, I make a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. We never count the chain on the hook. We always start counting from the next one. One, two, three, four. And over here, I make a double crochet. And now I make a double crochet into each chain across. I finished the first row, the row of double crochets. Now I turn my work and I start the next row with three chains, which count as the first double crochet. I skip the next double crochet and into the next one, I work a V-stitch, which is a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet all worked into the same double crochet. I skip the next two double crochets, one, two, and into the next one again, I work a V-stitch. So a double crochet, one chain, and a double crochet. I make two chains, one, two, and I skip the next four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next double crochet, I work a double crochet, then three chains, one, two, three, and then one more double crochet. Now two chains, one, two, and I skip four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next one, I work a V-stitch, which is a double crochet, one chain, and a double crochet. I skip the next two double crochets, one, two, and into the next one, I make a V-stitch. One double crochet, one chain, and one more double crochet. And again, I skip the next two double crochets and into the next one, I make a V-stitch. Now the pattern begins to repeat from here. Two chains, one, two, I skip the next four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next one, I work a double crochet, then three chains, and one more double crochet. Two chains, one, two, I skip four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next one, I work a V-stitch, which is a double crochet, one chain, 
and a double crochet. I skip the next two double crochets and into the next one I work it this stitch. And again I skip the next two double crochets and into the next one I work it this stitch. And again the pattern repeats from here. Two chains, one, two. I skip four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next one I work a double crochet, four chains, three chains, one, two, three, and a double crochet. Two chains, one, two, skip four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next one I work a this stitch. A double crochet, one chain, and a double crochet. Skip the next two double crochets, one, two, and into the next one I work a this stitch, which is a double crochet, one chain, and a double crochet. And I end this row with a double crochet into the last double crochet. So in the beginning of this row, I have two V stitches. Then over here, it's three, over here, it's three. And at the end of the row, again, it's two V stitches. I turn my work and I start the next row with three chains, which count as my first double crochet. And now into the chain one space of this first V stitch, I work a V stitch again. So it's a double crochet, one chain, and a double crochet. And into the next one, again, a V stitch. So a double crochet, one chain, and a double crochet. Next, I make one chain, and now I will be working puff stitches into this chain three space in between these two double crochets. And here's how I make a puff stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook and draw up a loop. So I did that a total of four times and now I have eight loops on the hook plus this one chain. So the total is nine. Now I do yarn over and I draw that loop through the eight loops. Now I have two yarn over and I finish the stitch. Now I make one chain and I'm going to work another puff stitch into the same space. So yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop. I did that a total of four times. Now yarn over and I draw the loop through the eight loops. Now I have two on the hook, yarn over, and I finish the stitch. Now one chain and again I work another puff stitch. One, two, three, four. Again one chain and now I'm going to work one more puff stitch. So yarn over one, two, three, four. So here I worked four puff stitches and in between them there is one chain here, here and here. Next one chain and into each one of these three V stitches I will work a V stitch. So a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet. And into the next one again a double crochet one chain and a double crochet and into the next one 
a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet. Now the pattern begins to repeat from here. One chain and over here I will work four puff stitches separated by one chain. So one, two, three, four, then one chain and again one, two, three, four, and one chain and again one, two, three, four, one chain, one, two, three, four. And here again I have four puff stitches. Next one chain and into each one of these V stitches I work a V stitch. And into the next one again I work a V stitch. And into the next one I work a V stitch. Here again I need to work the puff stitches but first I make one chain and then I work the puff stitches. One, two, three, four. Then one chain. One, two, three, four. Then one chain. One, two, three, then one chain and one, two, three, four. And then one chain and I finish this row with a V stitch into each one of these two V stitches. So that's one. And that's two. And then into the last double crochet, which is actually the turning chain, but we count it as a double crochet, I simply make a double crochet. This row is finished. I turn my work and the next row is going to be similar to row number two. I start with three chains, one, two, three, and into the next V stitch, I work a V stitch. So that's one double crochet, one chain, and one double crochet. And into the next V stitch again, I work a V stitch. So one double crochet, one chain, and one double crochet. Next two chains, one, two, and into the space between the second and the third puff stitches, right here, into this chain one space, I work a double crochet, three chains, and a double crochet. Then two chains, one, two, and into each one of these three V stitches, I work a V stitch. So a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet. And again a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet. And over here again a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet. And now the pattern begins to repeat from here. Two chains, one, two, and into the space between the second and the third puff stitches, I work a double crochet, three chains, and a double crochet. Then two chains, one, two, and again into each V stitch right here, I work a V stitch. 
So a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet. And then again, a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet. And again, a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet. And over here again, two chains, one, two, and into the space between the second and the third puff stitches, I work a double crochet, three chains, one, two, three, and a double crochet. Then two chains, one, two, and I finish with a V-stitch into each V-stitch. So one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet, and again, one double crochet, one chain, and one double crochet. And then into the last double crochet, I simply make a double crochet. I turn my work and the next row is gonna be row number three. So from this point, the pattern begins to alternate two rows, row number three and row number four. So let me start making that row again. So this is gonna be the same as row number three. I start with three chains, which count as the first double crochet and then make a V-stitch into each one of these two V-stitches. So that's one V-stitch. And here is another one. Now one chain and into the chain through space over here, I will be working four puff stitches separated by one chain. So yarn over one, two, three, four. Then one chain and again one, two, three, four. Yarn over and I finish it. And one chain. One, two, three, four. One chain and one, two, three, four. Then one chain and over here I simply make a V-stitch into each V-stitch. And that's how I'm gonna continue crocheting. Basically in this pattern there are two repeating rows. It's row number three and row number four. Here I crocheted some more and the scarf looks very pretty. Now all I need to do is to make the last row which is gonna be a row of double crochets because we started the scarf with a row of double crochets and we should finish it with a row of double crochets. So the very last row that I made right here is row number three. And now I'm going to make a row of double crochets. I start with three chains, which count as the first double crochet. And now into the next double crochet, I make a double crochet. Into the next chain, one space over here, I make a double crochet into the next double crochet, I make a double crochet. And over here again, I have this stitch, so I'm gonna make a double crochet into the double crochet, into the chain one space and into the double crochet. So three more double crochets. Next over here, I have one chain, but I skip it and I make a double crochet into the next puff stitch. 
Then I make a double crochet into the next chain one space. That's the space in between two puff stitches. Now again, I make a double crochet into the next puff stitch and I make a double crochet into the chain one space. Again, I make a double crochet into the next puff stitch and I make a double crochet into the chain one space and I make a double crochet into the next puff stitch. Over here, I have one chain, but I skip it. And now I will be working double crochets into each double crochet of the V stitches, these three V stitches, and also into the chain one spaces between those double crochets. So I make a double crochet into this double crochet, then a double crochet into the chain one space, then a double crochet into the next double crochet. And again, a double crochet into the next double crochet, and a double crochet into the chain one space, and a double crochet into the next double crochet. Again, a double crochet into the next double crochet, a double crochet into the next chain one space, and a double crochet into the next double crochet. And over here again, I do the same thing as I did over here. I skip the chain one space right here and work a double crochet into the puff stitch. Then I work a double crochet into the next chain one space. I work a double crochet into the next puff stitch. I work a double crochet into the next chain one space. I work a double crochet into the next puff stitch. I work a double crochet into the next chain one space and over here again I work it into the puff stitch. Again I skip this chain one and I will be working double crochets over here and then over these puff stitches again I will work the same way. And at the end again I work a double crochet into each double crochet of the V stitches and into the chain one spaces. And then I make one last double crochet into the last double crochet. And now I can fasten off and the scarf will be finished.